Back to nine on your side. You know, it haunted the city of Fairfax. Two young boys gone without a trace in 1964. It is a very rare cold case, but a mystery. And nine on your side anchor Julie O'Neill has found police are still working to solve today. More than a century, half a century that is later. It was a big deal back then. Night on Your Side still has our black and white film of the frantic search for two nine-year-old boys, Johnny Hundley and Jimmy McQuarrie. They were inseparable. They were best buddies. Their mysterious disappearance in 1964 still fresh for Bonnie Zorns, whose little brother Johnny had gone to cash in some pop bottles after school that October 15th. Oh, he just walked up the street with the pop bottles. I watched him walk up there. That was the last I seen of him. Probably every cop at Fairfax since 64 has worked this case from one time or another. We decided that we had to follow this to the end. Detective Mike Murphy followed tips as recently as a few years ago. A lot of theories on what happened to these two boys. The very first, someone saw Johnny and Jimmy at the Frishes on Wooster Pike the day they went missing. Detective Murphy has all the old articles detailing where crews dug around the construction in that area, believing the young boys had gone exploring. Thinking that they fell down in a hole and got covered up with dirt. They dug it all up. Three years later, a young Marine confessed to killing the boys. Zorns remembers her mother going with police as the Marine was going to lead them to the bodies. Went from one place to another, from one place to another, and my mother right there, and finally he said, no, I, I lied about it. I just told that to get out of the service. And my mother was just absolutely devastated. She went to her grave never knowing whatever happened to him. We interviewed him, I, don't, I couldn't tell you how many times, polygraphed him. He was just wanting to get out of the Marine Corps. I don't feel that in my heart. Zorn says that Marine had bad blood with her other brothers and believes re-polygraphing him could reopen that theory. There wasn't, wasn't as much technology back then as there is now. To abduct two of them at the same time could have happened, but I think it's unlikely that these two kids would let somebody grab them both up. Murphy will keep following all tips and recently collected DNA from the boy's siblings so any remains ever found could finally give them closure. I just hope and pray that before the rest of us leave here that we find out something about him. It's, it's terrible. Obviously, this goes way back, but if you have any information that can help police finally solve this case, call Fairfax Police at 513-271-7250. I've just tweeted that out at Julie O'Neill, WCPO.